everybody. Josh Feathers, corporate chef here at Black Red Farm. I'm going to show you one of my favorite summer recipes. Uh, we're going to do herb rub roasted sturgeon with squash puree and some tomato toasted garlic relish. So let's get right in. First thing we've got to do is get started with our fish. We're going to take and dip this into salted water. It's a little restaurant trick here, folks. We're going to dip this into salted ice water. And what that's going to do is going to help to firm up the flesh of the fish. So the herb rub begins with parsley, chives, tarragon, anything that you have in the garden. We have a little basil right here. Toss that right in there. And here I have some garlic. This is about the equivalent of one clove of garlic, one nice clove of garlic. And I'm just going to go through. Put that in with the herbs. Toss around there, and here we have some extra virgin Georgia olive oil. Give that a stir. Spoon this over the top of it. All right, now we want to let this marinate for about an hour. So next, we're going to make our squash puree. Very simple, uh, nothing complicated about this at all. So I've got summer squash, yellow squash. I'm going to put some salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little touch of grapeseed oil on this. Uh, I would not use the grapes or the uh, extra virgin olive oil for this just to keep it from burning. Okay. I'll throw those right on a pan, put them into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes until they're tender. We're going to take this, put this just onto a prepared rack. Okay. We're going to put this into a 250 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So next we're going to make our tomato and toasted garlic relish. So what I have here, I've got one beautiful tomato. I'm going to add to this the zest of one lime and then about another clue of garlic. Now then. We're going to season this with a little bit of sherry or Pedro Jimenez vinegar. I have a pot with about a cup and a half to two cups of pure olive oil. We blister the tomatoes with the oil. Okay, so we give that a stir around. Now. We're going to let this sit and cool down to room temperature. We'll come back to it when our fish is done. While this is hot and we've got all the steam coming off of it, we're going to go ahead and make this into our puree. So. Alright, so as this is going, we still want to add some fat to make this feel nice and creamy. Alright, so we're going to add just a little bit of grapeseed oil to this. Down some of our squash puree. Oh, look at that. We've got our tomato and toasted garlic relish. We're just going to put just a little bit right on top. There's a couple little happy basil leaves right on the top here. And there you have it. 